Hey class, my name is Francesco Luna. I'm going to be doing my mini presentation on vaccinations. Um, just a quick heads up, I'm going to be really quick because I only have five minutes on this free program that I'm using, so i got to move really fast. Uh, you name this slide, I uh, named this presentation using Fire to Fight Fire because that's kind of what a vaccine is. You're introducing a small amount into the body, allowing your body's natural immunity to build and fight off that disease, either preventative or to treat something you already have. So let's go straight forward. So the origin story of vaccinations and how they came to be started with smallpox. Smallpox is nothing new. It started back in the 1100 BC, 1145 actually, back in Egypt. Still uh, killed many people back then. Throughout time, it killed hundreds of thousands of people. Um, up until the uh, late 18th century, Europeans and during this time of colonization, they started to get sick of it because about 400,000 Europeans were dying each year in the 18th century just from smallpox. So uh, um, an apprentice uh, surgeon at the time started looking into it and he noticed that dairy farmers were not acquiring smallpox. So he ended up looking into it and noticed that they had this cowpox that they had acquired um, through farming. He noticed that uh, it was a very less lethal disease over smallpox and they weren't getting it because it's uh, um, basically a sister disease to that um, to smallpox so he basically uh, did some studies uh, acquired a vaccine his first initial prototype grabbed a he had an eight-year-old boy basically that he put some of this uh, vaccine that he created on him and then noticed that uh, the boy, after several weeks, hadn't acquired the smallpox because uh, the vaccine basically worked, and that was Edward Jenner. Um, from then, it became perfecting the recipe. People started improving on these vaccinations, different routes that it could take. Um, he also uh, started using it. People started using it for other diseases such as malaria, um, gonorrhea, herpes, various stuff like that. So what is it? So a vaccine, um, just as the picture shows, you're putting weak or dead in, uh, weak or dead disease bacteria into the body. Your white blood cells trigger to produce antibodies to fight the disease. If the patient encounters the disease later, antibodies neutralize the invading cells. So basically, again, you're putting a small amount of the disease or the dead disease to allow your body to build antibodies so it can fight that off. So I think me thinking of it as a clone or decoy is... Um, how it best helps me to remember it. There's prophylactic uh, vaccines, which is basically you're trying to prevent something from affecting you down the line that you haven't had yet, such as when we developed the COVID vaccine for those that haven't had COVID. There's also therapeutic vaccines, which is you've already contracted the disease and th these vaccines are to help you with the symptoms. Production of a disease starts with um, the bacteria. You end up finding a host for it, usually like a chicken host, or they've been using um, a mammalian now which uh, has a better ability to survive. You're basically, their job is to allow this to build antibodies within. They then preserve it. They add uh, preservatives, which help it being transported and help it survive. And then after it has developed and developed antibodies, they can extract it, put it into a vial, put it into a uh, tablet form, whatever they're gonna do. And then uh, from there, it just becomes about freeze drying it, um, distribution, which is another very difficult part about vaccines. Uh, delivery systems, we touched on it a little bit, but they're just getting improved every day. Usually it's the IM uh, route, which is intramuscular, uh, through a vial. And, uh, you put it through a syringe, a needle into your muscle, and it gets delivered through the system that way. It takes a couple of weeks, and then it's uh, into the system. Disruptive nature of vaccination. So this is uh, where it starts getting into our course. I think without vaccination, our world would be a totally different place. I actually think half of our population would have died of a serious illness from a, from something that a vaccine could have prevented, or worse, because as the population grows, um, diseases just continue to spread. So the more people there are, the more spread. Um, also touched on this herd immunity a little bit, but it's very important because COVID is going to be seeing this herd immunity that we see. So as people get vaccinated, less people are able to contract the disease. Uh, that's about it. Thank you so much, class. Sorry it was quick, but it's the, because of the free program.